Since the beginning of civilization people have wanted to control water. Water is essential for life, and early humans quickly realized its importance for agriculture, drinking and sanitation. Early societies made simple dams to water their crops and stop floods. These rudimentary structures were often built using locally available materials like mud, stones and wood. These dams were usually small, made from dirt and rocks. They were effective for their time, helping to store water during dry periods and protect against floods. As we learned more about engineering, we dreamed bigger. New materials and techniques allowed for more ambitious projects. Engineers began to envision dams that could manage water and generate power. In the 1900s, dam construction boomed, driven by the need for hydroelectric power, irrigation, and flood control. Governments and private companies invested heavily in these projects. Huge concrete dams were built all over the world, changing rivers and landscapes forever. They became symbols of human ingenuity and progress. Today thousands of dams exist, showing how clever humans can be. These dams serve multiple purposes, from providing water and power to recreational opportunities and wildlife habitats. They give us electricity, water for our crops, and protection from floods. Hydroelectric dams in particular have become a major source of renewable energy. These amazing structures have helped us in many ways. They have enabled the growth of cities, supported agricultural expansion, and provided recreational opportunities for millions of people. But there's also a downside. The construction of dams often leads to the displacement of communities, the loss of arable land, and the disruption of local ecosystems. Dams can force people to move, harm animals and plants, and change how rivers flow naturally. The alteration of river systems can lead to the decline of fish populations and changes in water quality. Deciding to build a dam is a big deal. It requires careful consideration of the environmental, social, and economic impacts. Stakeholders must weigh the benefits of water management and energy production against the potential harm to communities and ecosystems. We need to think carefully about the good and the bad. Sustainable dam development involves finding a balance between human needs and environmental protection. Modern dams are incredibly big, some of the largest things ever built. They represent the pinnacle of engineering achievement, capable of holding back billions of gallons of water and generating vast amounts of electricity. They're like giant concrete walls, holding back enormous amounts of water. The sheer scale and complexity of these structures are awe-inspiring, showcasing human determination and technical prowess. The stories of how they were built are full of human ambition, creativity, and never giving up. Each dam has its own unique history, reflecting the challenges and triumphs of the people who designed and constructed them. Dams might seem simple, but they're very clever. They act like walls, stopping water from flowing. This creates a reservoir, which is like a lake made by people behind the dam. This stored water has a lot of energy waiting to be used. Water flows through tunnels to turbines which are like big wheels with blades. The force of the water makes the turbine blades spin, just like wind spins a windmill. This spinning powers a generator, turning the spinning energy into electricity. Higher dams mean more pressure and more power. The Three Gorges Dam In China is a great example of how big and ambitious modern dams can be. It's not just a marvel of engineering but also a symbol of human ingenuity and determination. Finished in 2006, it's the world's largest power station. The dam generates an incredible amount of electricity, enough to power millions of homes and businesses. This massive dam holds back the Yangtze River, creating a reservoir over 400 miles long. This reservoir not only provides water for irrigation but also helps control flooding in the region. Building it was a huge project. Over a million people had to move to new homes. The construction required immense resources and coordination, involving thousands of workers and advanced machinery. But the Three Gorges Dam isn't just about making electricity, it also shows clever engineering. The dam incorporates multiple features that enhance its functionality and efficiency. The dam's ship lift is a great example. This innovative system allows ships to bypass the dam, ensuring smooth navigation along the Yangtze River. This amazing invention helps ships get past the dam, making it easier to travel along the Yangtze River. The ship lift can handle vessels up to 3,000 tons, significantly improving the efficiency of river transport. The ship lift saves a lot of time and makes transporting goods much faster. It reduces the journey time from over 3 hours to just about 40 minutes. The ship lift works in a simple but smart way. It uses a counterweight system to balance the weight of the ship, 
making the lifting process more efficient. There's a big chamber filled with water like a giant elevator. This chamber can be adjusted to accommodate different water levels. Ships enter the chamber at the bottom. The process is carefully monitored to ensure safety and precision. Then the chamber is closed, and water is pumped in or out to make it float higher or lower. This process is controlled by advanced hydraulic systems. This controlled floating raises or lowers the chamber with the ship inside to the right level. The entire operation is a testament to modern engineering and innovation. China excels at building dams and ship lifts. Over the years they have mastered constructing massive infrastructure projects that serve their purpose and stand as marvels of modern engineering. The Gupitan Hydropower Station is a prime example. Located in Guizhou Province this station is a testament to innovative engineering. Finished in 2009 this dam features a vertical ship lift, setting it apart from other dams worldwide. Unlike normal ship lifts that move ships sideways, the Gupitan system lifts ships straight up, a necessity given the geographical challenges. The design was needed because of the steep hills and the big height difference between the water levels. Traditional methods wouldn't work here. The Gupitan vertical ship lift uses a huge platform that can carry ships weighing up to 3,000 tons, ensuring even the largest vessels can navigate through the dam. The platform hangs from strong steel cables and works like a giant elevator, moving ships up and down efficiently and reliably. This system solves the problem of traditional locks which don't work well in such difficult terrain. The vertical lift is a game-changer for regions with challenging topography. The Gupitan vertical ship lift shows China's commitment to advancing technology and finding new ways to build dams and help ships navigate rivers. It proves that engineers can overcome big geographical challenges and create solutions that make transportation more efficient and help the economy grow. The Gupitan Hydropower Station is not just an engineering marvel but also a catalyst for regional development and economic prosperity.